Let's look into chapter number two, basic concept of wireless LAN. This topic, we look into the concept of all the components that make wireless LAN possible. Let's look into some of the terms on the wireless device. First, we divide into uh, two parts. One is the home, another one is the enterprise. So what's the difference here? Home, basically, you only have one access point or the most maybe two. Uh, we have less complicated setup in our home, but in the enterprise, we may serve a lot of users. So in the enterprise, we may have more devices. So let's look into the concept. Wireless AP typically divide into three types of AP. We have fed AP, we have the fit AP, and we also have cloud AP. Now fit AP is also sometimes we call it as the autonomous access point. Uh, autonomous, as its name suggests, means that this is independent. They do not need any additional controller. When you want to configure your home AP, most likely you are going to configure from the wireless router itself. This wireless router will connect to a modem if let's say you are using the uh, fiber or using a DSL. So we have a modem over here where we connect to the fiber and here we have our wireless router. Now that is on the FAT AP. FAT AP normally used at home. So let's look into the enterprise environment. What happens if you have a medium to large environment where you have tens of AP or hundreds of AP? Under these circumstances, you may need something that is more scalable. So for the scalability, we need another device we call as a access controller. Sometimes we also call it as a wireless LAN controller. So this access controller control the uh, AP. This AP will be in charge of all the encryption and the decryption of the data. But the real control is on the access controller. Now the access controller will have a physical link to the routers or switches before they connect to the AP. Now let's just concentrate on this uh, device called PoE switch. I believe all of you know what is a switch, but what is a PoE? POE stands for power over Ethernet. As its name suggests, power over Ethernet means that the power can transmit over the Ethernet cable. And for doing so, you can save the trouble of having another power supply to power up the AP. So imagine if you are going to deploy this out in the location where the power source is difficult to get, using PoE will be the best solution. So in the enterprise, most likely you're able to see PoE switch. And uh, we have different type of uh, feed AP. Some of the feed AP can be indoor or outdoor. Then we also have a cloud AP. Now cloud AP is also mainly used on the medium or large enterprises. As its name suggests, cloud AP means that the management of this AP are done in the cloud. So the AC is in the cloud. That's the difference between a fit AP and a cloud AP. So in cloud AP, the AP can perform some of the control on its own, and most of the control are done in the cloud as controller. So let's look into the basic wireless uh, networking architecture. Here we have uh, two architecture. The first one is the FAT uh, AP architecture, and the second one is uh, AC plus FIT AP architecture. So what are the differences for these two architecture? First, as you can see here at the bottom, uh, it's basically the same. So we have the uh, wireless network, 802.11. Uh, as I mentioned, you can use the uh, ABGN, AC, or AX. Then we have our radio signal, and this is the STA. STA stands for a station, All right? That is our laptop, our tablet, or the mobile phone. So uh, once you connect to the FAT AP, in this case, I have a FAT AP here. The FAT AP will determine what is the password, you know, what is the encryption, decryption, the control and before they actually pass to the switch or the router in this case. So it can be a layer three switch or the router before you go out, that's all. So this is where you are using a FAT AP. 
The problem with the Fed AP is you are going to manage all this AP independently. Imagine now you have like 10 or 20, so you are going to configure it one by one. Now let's look into the AC plus fit AP architecture. What's the main difference? As I mentioned earlier on, right at the bottom here, 802.11 protocol is the same, but instead of fat AP, we are using a fit AP. In the fit AP, you'll notice that this AP is being controlled by the SS controller. This SS controller in return create a tunnel or cap web tunnel. Don't worry, we are going to cover the cap web tunnel uh, later part. So for now, I want you to concentrate the difference between a fat AP and a fit AP. So that is the main difference here. And uh, we also have an AC uh, that is additional item uh, previously on the fan. AP we do not have. Now we have a lot of benefit of why we use a cabinet plus the AC. But for, for this slide, I want you to remember that that's the main difference between a fan AP. AP or autonomous AP versus the AC and the fit AP architecture. So let's move on and see what's the main benefit of using the AC. So before we go into uh, more detail on the AC, let's look into the agile distributed uh, architecture. So uh, slightly different. Uh, difference compared to the fat AP, but it's still considered a fit AP. What is the difference over here? So I want you to concentrate on this centralized AP. So this is still an access point, but it's called centralized access point. It's not the AC. So this centralized access point have this called RU. RU stands for remote unit. Okay. Now let's say you are in the hotel room and in the hotel room you would like to have a strong signal maybe you would like to have an ethernet cable as well so in the hotel unit or dormitory there is a small unit that attached into the wall and the user can actually get a very good signal as well as connect to their ip phone or ethernet cable and from there they connect to the central ap so the central ap is an AP, but the antenna is actually on the radio unit. So we have two AP, and this AP doesn't control on its own. This is still a fit AP, but the control is done by the centralized AC. So what's the difference between the uh, agile distributor architecture and uh, just normal fat AP? The difference is is here. The Agile Distributor Architecture divide the AP into Central AP. So this is our Central AP here uh, and the RU, Remote Unit. The Central AP can manage multiple RU which provide good coverage. So you can see that one AP, I can cover four rooms. It can be more, depend on the capability of the uh, model that you uh, purchase and reduce the cost because the antenna is actually uh, inside the room and uh, these are quite low cost uh, radio unit. RU can be used in the FAT AP, AC plus FIT AP and the cloud management architecture. So this is the agile distributor. So the RU is actually attached to the centralized uh, AP and application include densely distributed room. As I mentioned, let's look into the cat web. So the full name of cat web stands for control and provisioning of wireless access point. So this is our cat web tunnel. The cat web tunnel source from, from the AP to the AC. Cat web define how to manage and configure AP. That is an AC manage and controls AP in a centralized manage through the cat web tunnel okay so this is where the cat web are terminated at the ac the ac is sending the control information to the ap hence even i have tens or even hundred or thousand i really need to just control from the ac can you imagine that uh, if you have so many ap 
let's say in a stadium and you want to control all the AP, you do not need to CalNet or HTTP into each uh, individual AP, but you can just control from the AC and uh, they are using this uh, protocol called CatWeb Tunnel. So CatWeb maintain the running status of AC and AP allow the AC to manage AP and deliver service configuration, which is important. Once you have a configuration, you can push to the AP that you wanted to, allow AP to exchange data sent by uh, SDA, which is a station with AC through the CatWeb tunnel when the tunnel forwarding mode is used. So that is the CatWeb uh, generally. We are going to look into the configuration, but I just want you to remember that uh, there are two modes that you can use. Either you can use the CatWeb tunnel or non-CatWeb tunnel. Uh, which we are going to cover on the next uh, couple of slides.